Hey, what's up, cool people? My name is Veronica, and today I'm bringing you a Sticks and Stone gameplay. And um, it's nothing amazing, it's just something for you guys to look at while I talk. And today I'll be talking about racism. And even though people like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and people like them, they've been doing lots of things to stop it, unfortunately, it's still going on today. And I'm afraid that when it happens, like, it's not equal. And that's what I'm going to be discussing today. So I go to an all-girls school, and um, there was a small incident that happened there. So I think the math teacher left the, the room to get some books or something, and then the girl who was sitting opposite me, she got up her chair, and then she she approached me, and then she start she took out my head my hairband, and then she started like playing with my hair, messing it around, and I just let her do what she wanted because I know that girls in my class are just like that. They like playing with your hair for a bit, and then they get bored. So then when she finished. It was all messed up, like all the static energy, everything. It was my hair was just puffed up. So then I brushed it down and then I put it back to how it was. And then she looks at me and says, "Hey, you're racist. You don't like black girls' hair. Why are you taking it out? Huh, 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 huh?" So I said, "No, I'm not. I'm not being racist. It's just that you messed up my hair. So I was just putting it back to how it was." And she wasn't taking any of it. She started telling everyone that I was racist. Blah 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 blah. And yeah, but. Okay, so then my mom, yeah, she wasn't happy with what was happening because I told her. So she told this vice principal, and then the vice principal, she, like, told us, she was sort of, like, making us meditate, and she was saying, So what are your problems? Tell us, tell me your problems. Discuss your problems. Get it out of your chest. Like, she was, she's really posh, even though, yeah, even though she, she's not really that posh, you can tell. But after that, we got sent back to our classrooms, the day carried on normally. And by the way, this carried on like day after day, um, several weeks after that. And my mom was getting furious each time. She was getting more furious. And um, it's like they were using the fact that I was a different color to them. And then they were using that to call me racist. Like every single little thing that I did. Like if I was listening to Taylor Swift, they would call me, Oh, you're racist. Not listening to black people's music or stuff like that. And I, I just got bored of it. Until this day came. It was again on a math class. I don't know what they have against math. They just pissed me off every time it was math. So I was playing around with this ruler. Like you know what you guys do when you're bored in class? math especially you just play around with things so i had this ruler and then i put it over my eyes and then this girl she came up to me the same girl, the same one she came up to me and said oh you don't want to be white anymore you want to be blue whatever color the ruler was and the thing is i'm not even white i'm orange dora color whatever like latina yeah i'm latina spanish so that was just weird and the truth is they were actually the ones who were being racist to me because they wanted to make me feel inferior to them because I wasn't their skin color. I wasn't listening to their music. And here's what I mean by saying that racism isn't equal. So like, okay, imagine that sh that girl was the one that was holding up the ruler to her face. And now imagine if I was the one who was saying, oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, so does that mean that you don't want to be black anymore? Oh, you want to be white now? You don't like your skin color? Imagine if I had said, ah, oh, stop listening to that, listen to Taylor Swift, listen to Macklemore, I don't know. I wouldn't have gotten into serious trouble. My homeroom teacher said that I would have, I would have been expelled because my mom told him. And then um, he, he's the one that actually sorted it out because the principal wouldn't do anything. I, I have to say that. So the girl was being racist to me. The principal didn't do anything. But if I was the one being racist to the girl, the principal would have expelled me. She would have shouted at me and many other details that I do not wish to describe. But I do know that she would not have said, Oh, it's just a jealousy problem. It will work itself out. But the person who actually sorted all of this out was my homeroom teacher. He's a man. But yeah. And I know this because one day we were sitting in math doing some algebra, I think. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. But that girl was called out of class. And when she came back, she was crying. And everyone went, ooh. And they looked at me like I was some kind of a murderer. I was happy. So yeah, I think that racism should be applied to all races because when you think of racism, you automatically think about a white person being rude to a black person. And I don't think that's the case. I think we should respect all races. Yes. And the weirdest thing now is that the girl and I are now like the closest friends ever. She's not my best friend, but she's really cool to me and everything. And she tells me everything about her life. And I mean everything. Yeah.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of me expressing my viewpoints on racism. So I'll talk to you later. Stay cool, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.